I'm Wes, and I'm on a never-ending quest to beat absolutely every game in existence. The great, the mediocre, and the completely unplayable. Welcome to Backlog Buster. Today, I'm going to answer the question asked by my dear friend and Patreon supporter, Max. Can you beat Demon Souls on PlayStation 5 using only magic? <laughs> A.K.A. Can you beat Demon Souls on Big Baby Easy Mode for literal babies? The rules are going to be magic only. This means no physical attacking at all. If I ever run out of MP, I'll have to figure out how to get more if I actually have to kill something. Max added an extra stipulation after the fact for this request. No leveling melee stats of any kind. No increasing HP, strength, endurance, or dexterity. This is going to be a true Brainlord playthrough. Otherwise, it's just getting through the mandatory bosses and getting to the credits as usual. This challenge shouldn't be too much of a problem. Name? Well, you're a wizard, Harry. Starting class? It's gotta be royalty. It starts with Soul Arrow, but it also has the Fragrant Ring. The Fragrant Ring gives slow MP regeneration, which alleviates one of the potential major problems with magic only, running out of MP. Max enjoys vampires, so let's make a vampire-esque character. Yeah, that's it. Just gotta add a little bit of magical frosted tips. Perfect. I'm doing Journey to the Nexus not because I need to, but because I want to. Yup, Soul Arrow is very strong. One quick trip through the tutorial and it's Vanguard Demon. Except I used up all my MP, so I'll have to wait here idly to regenerate it using the Fragrant Ring. Close enough, let's go. Have at you. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Oh, man, I can't wait to dump all of my souls directly into my wife. The actual game starts now. Soul Arrow is a one shot on these dredglings, but there is a lot of them. Well, almost out of MP and I'm not even up the ramparts yet. And now I'm actually out of MP. Royalty was definitely the correct choice. The Fragrant Ring is helping out a ton. I could potentially just run past everything, but where's the fun in that? Patient status ended. Blue Eye Knight destroyed. Wand smacked. Ugh, fine. The remaining dredglings soul arrowed to death. Shortcut unlocked. Kling Ring acquired. These Old Spice are gonna come in handy. Now, back to the Nexus again. I want that MP refresh, just so I don't have to wait around again. Back to the shortcut, and up to the Blue Eye Knight. Most of the MP I got back is gone, so yeah, worth it, I guess. Close call here. I actually ran out of MP. In the interest of keeping this moving, I'm slurping down those spices. Lower area cleared out for Ostrava of Boletaria. We did it, bro. Th thanks. Stare Blue Eye Knight killed, but I'm out of MP again. I'll simply wait here before soul blasting the archer. Even though I don't have melee, these boards are still breakable with a well-placed soul arrow. Back to waiting around for MP again. I'm slow playing this challenge like crazy. Bridge status actually roasted this time around. Quick, cheese it! Boss gate unlocked. Finally made it to the bottom and I got the gate open. Definitely heading back to reload and reset my MP. Blacksmith Baldwin has some fresh spice for sale. I'm buying as much as I can. The heater shield would also be pretty nice, but I can't actually use it with base level stats. Oh well. Okay, this is definitely a boss fight, alright. Phalanx is easy to get through by just whipping firebombs, but this time it's two soul arrows per hoplite. And man, there are a lot of hoplites to tear through. But if Phalanx is just gonna block the hoplites from attacking me, I'll just zap them to death with soul arrow. Surprisingly easy. I knew this challenge was going to be pretty easy, but, you know, I'll take my easy wins when I can get them. Damn, they really filled out the maiden in black. My wife has very kissable lips. Off to the top! Big steppying up the stairs. Do I have the strength to face the demons? Well, not the strength, but definitely the mental fortitude and intelligence, baby! First things first, let's grab Flame Toss from Freak's Apprentice. By challenge rules, all I can level up with now is intelligence and magic, so magic it is. I could probably just stay in body form for this challenge, but this is how I've always played Demon Souls. If you don't think I'm starting with Shrine of Storms, well, you haven't been paying attention to the literature. Flame Toss is definitely the right call here. It's way stronger than Soul Arrow against these skellies. 294 souls per kill. Fresh Spice is 300 from Baldwin. Each kill is basically one banked spice. Black Skeleton destroyed. Crescent Felshian plus one obtained. Now I can't actually attack with this, but it does have slow MP regeneration that stacks with the Fragrant Ring. Might come in handy. Oh wow, those arrows hurt. Eight vitality could be a legitimate problem moving forward. Copper key acquired and let's go ahead and jump that wall. Yeah, it's a little bit harder than I remember. Feels way easier to do on the PS3. 
but I got it. Last skeleton toasted. Time to regenerate my MP. Eh, time is money. Get spiced, stomach. May as well use the wizarding strategy that gives you a trophy for this one. Staying on the upper level and kiting adjudicator around the area pelting the crow with flame toss. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Harry's head grew two sizes this day. Back to soul form, back to soul arrow, and back to stone fang tunnel. Oh, stop throwing rocks, man, what the hell? These miners are getting absolutely demolished with my 30 magic. Wizard duel number one. Expecto Patron! I win. More miners melted. These wolves are actually kind of scary at base health, but I will simply exercise caution. Wizard duel two. I win again. Time to regenerate all of my MP. Crescent Falchion on and waiting for a literal eternity. Wizard duel number three. I got just enough MP to erase him from existence. Lever status? Yanked. More miners melted and shortcut unlocked. Since I'm out of MP, I'm heading back to the Nexus for a refresh. Welcome to our grand strategy. Spice restocked at Baldwin. Every enemy melted. Let's yank that lever. Water wheel redirected to quench the flames and I'm heading back. Don't these guys know that I have a perfect record in these wizard duels? Chris Blade acquired, but I doubt I'll get any use out of it. I'm gonna head back now. All that's left is the boss here, but I feel like I need more damage. Swollen Demon Soul slurped? 35 magic acquired. Let's go ahead and take a tour of Latria. I'm two-shotting Mind Flayers with Flame Toss. They drop spice and good souls. Fairly lucrative grinding here. Keys acquired. Let's go. I will choose not to release any of the prisoners. Next set of keys and next shortcuts unlocked. Once Royal Mistress, my new dealer. 1,000 souls for an Age Spice, huh? I'll buy as much as I can now. I'll be back here many times over by the end of this, I'm sure. For now, though, it's down to the bottom of the prison. Warden key acquired. I'm not even gonna attempt the shortcut. I'm going the intended way, aka the long way around. The story of my life. Ballista turned off and bridge pillaged. Liar ahead. Body status combusted? Key acquired. Oof, that black phantom does a lot of damage. I'm one-shotted. I'll go back to Latria later. It's a silly place. Let's tackle Tower Knight first instead. Dragon dodged and soldiers smoldered. Oh my god, that's a lot of wolves. Yep, never had problems with these wolves like this before. Alright, let's try that again. It was a little dicey, but I got through. Kiting reigns supreme. Back topside and I'm out of MP again. One of these days I'll have enough MP to kill this final archer. Bridge status? Roasted. This dead horse marks the starting line. Ready? Go! Serpentine? Dodged? <laughs> I'm in. I'll head on up and take out the archers this time. Every archer's cleared out now, except I ran out of MP at the last one. And I can't shoot over the wall. Time to man up. Damn, that's a huge hitbox. Huh. Can I actually knock over Tower Knight with magic? I don't know if I've ever actually done it before. Oh, look at that. I can. And of course, that's where he would fall. Better to just shoot the dick off. Okay, I'm just ripping around him now, and I'll get a good fall this time and blast him in the head. But uh, hitting him in the torso seems to do the same damage. Tower Knight completely demolished by my magic. Speaking of magic, let's level it up after slurping down a couple of souls. It's up to 40 now. I'll pick up a couple of intelligence points too for some extra spell slots. Both Flame Toss and Soul Arrow are now available. I think Armor Spider might actually be a bit of a problem, mostly because I have to be a very artful dodger to get through the corridor to magic blast it. With base level health, getting killed is a very likely outcome. Oh, I'm in body form. I could summon help. Oh, I got approval from Max, so let's go. Well, this woman's got a wand out, so it's gonna count, I'm sure. Let's do this. She pulled a spear out. Get out of here, lady. Okay, all memory aside, I got some spells off and some damage in on Armor Spider. And here's the oil. Cheese it! Okay, that run back did not go so well. Let's try this one more time. Yep, gotta just go for it. Those silk shots are brutal, though. Brutal? I got an opening. Let's unload some spells. And even more oil. Very cool. Armor Spider's on the cusp of death. Oh god, this one's pretty bad. Okay, got the grass off. A couple more spells and I am victorious. Power. I need more power. Let's keep the Stonefang Tunnel train rolling. There's a lot of miners here, and despite having 41 magic, I am not one-shotting these guys. Miners cleared? Let's take the shortcut down. I don't need anything else in this level. That's definitely way faster. It's time for Flame Lurker. Soul Arrow does decent damage, but uh, I'm gonna need to dodge a lot here. Oof, I've got the devil's own luck and managed to survive. Note to self, avoid the staircase. If you're gonna be a big dum-dum and jump around, I will simply blast you with soul arrows. Oh boy, this base level health is dicey, let me tell ya. 
Could you stop dodging all my spells, please? Remember I said no to self-avoid the stairs? But local man keeps getting away with it. The trick to Flame Lurker is really utilizing all of the space. This fight's almost over, but man, the increasing aggression is absolutely terrifying. You're a wizard, Harry. You can do it. That was pretty intense. I'm gonna keep pumping my magic power to the extreme. I'm also going to need a lot of spice for Dragon God. I'm also gonna take a bow, not to use, but to aim my spells. Thief Ring, let's go. Oh, right, I didn't pick it up. Oh, man, okay, whatever. These pillars are taking a lot of arrows to take down. This is going to be a very, very long and unfun process. That seems accurate. Flame Toss does use quite a bit more MP, but it has way better smashing power. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Okay, this is my strategy. Hide behind a pillar, aim with the bow, and hurl my spells from across the way so I can cheese it to the next pillar. One crossbow down. Finally. More bow aiming to smash the next set of pillars. I'm gonna play this very slow. I'm long bombing it from downtown, baby. In theory, I could just wait here indefinitely with the Fragrant Ring and Crescent Falchion, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm spicing up. Alright, I'm going for it. Cheese it. Oh, oh man, I forgot about these crushed pillars on the stairs. Please, come on, please. Yep. Why would anything nice ever happen? A few very bad attempts later. I really need to just be more patient here. Oh, I guess I was just visible somehow. Cool story, bro. And it just keeps happening. That final burnination was just too much. Let's go ahead and grab that thief ring back in Boletaria Palace. Snatched up, and I'm heading back to suffering. There's no reason to use the cling ring since I'm getting one-shotted anyways. One-shotted just like this. It's safe to say that this is just not going well. I'm actually running out of spice, and honestly, I don't know how I'm getting past that final set of debris. Alright, this is it. He actually missed? Oh, come on! Now's a good time to note that I've always hated this fight. This is easily the worst it's ever been, though. I'll spare you the rest of the attempts. Finally, I realized I could hide behind this final pillar and wall. But trying to snipe the debris with spells is surprisingly difficult. The positioning is just way too tight. Too low and you clip the stairs. Too high and you just whiff entirely. This is all while under the watchful gaze of Dragon God waiting to punch you in the face. Alright, new plan. I'm running up there and shooting it once and then running back to hide. And it didn't work. Oh, look at that! Two swings with the two-handed Crescent Falchion is all it takes. Right now, I just have all the time in the world. I'll sit right here and blow soul arrows all over your chin. <laughs> Intelligence status increased. One archstone down, and you know what? I'm done for the day. That was over an hour of attempts just on Dragon God, and I had to cheat it anyways. Since I depleted my entire spice stockpile, I'm going back to Latria. Octopus guards cleared out and Sage Freak the Visionary rescued. <laughs> I meant to die here. You know, I'm doing it to farm more spice, okay? I, I swear to God. The most dangerous game. And now I'm out of MP. I will choose to kite her away. One more spell and damn, she got her shot off too. This run really might be cursed. Oh well, she's gone and I can farm more spice along the way back. I'm huffing that copium, but I'm gonna focus on the bright side. Now for Fool's Idol. Clearing out these worshippers and- oh, oh no, the traps! Cleverly dodged. Man, she put those traps down everywhere? Managed to get like a fifth of her health gone before she's vanishing. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, that's her right there. You know what, you? You over there, you can just disappear, lady. Oh boy, that was close. Found her again, she's all the way at the back. Body status hidden. Time for observation using my massive brain. Alright, there she is. Two more flame tosses and it's over. No, 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 let me go, let me go. Let's head back to the Nexus and trade that doll demon soul immediately to that freak for Soul Ray. Time to rescue my second demon soul's wife, Yuria the Witch. Soul Ray's piercing capabilities are actually going to come into play here. Very cool. Wait, hang on. I didn't actually bring Soul Ray? Oh, whoops. Red Eye Knights are pretty lethal. Getting sandwiched by Imperial Assassins is also pretty lethal. Red Eye Knight Revenge. Fat official and archers destroyed in another wizard duel. I can't stop winning. Keys acquired. Hang on, why are there so many dudes here? I will retreat to the stairs and use Soul Ray through all of you. Three Soul Rays beats Red Eye Knight easily. The most important fat official. I actually don't care about Estrava for once, so I will simply engage in another wizard duel. Whoa, that was a pretty close call. But there's the neat hat. Shortcut unlocked and let's head back to Tower Knight's Archstone. Down to the dungeons for yet another fat official. Wizard duel one for a bloody key. Bjor rescued, and he's captaining the SS Snooze Cruiser once again. 
I actually forgot to kill the fat official in Stonefang Tunnel after Armor Spider, and I need the full set in the PS5 remake to rescue Yuria. One more wizard duel won. Clothes finally acquired. Since I'm here, I may as well kill these two black phantoms for a black eye stone. I may attempt to own some scrub lords online later. Officially outfitted, it's time for more skullduggery. <laughs> they have no clue. <laughs> Rings acquired. Stairs dropped. Let's wizard duel yet again. Lady, I just saved you. Didn't you see me trash that guy? Fine, I'll take the clothes off. Wife 2 rescued. Back up through the shortcut now and it's just trashing everything to get to Penetrator. Oh hey, that was a two for one. I'll snipe the Red Eye Knights to pull them one at a time. Mainly because these guys will one-shot me if they even get close to me. Penetrator time. I will simply let Bjor tank as I blast him from behind with my Soul Ray. Well, he's mostly ignoring Bjor, but kiting is strong, easy, and effective. That's the Penetrator defeated. Best girls back in the Nexus. I may not be able to control your magic. It's powered by emotion. Woman, I am a gamer. I have that innate gamer rage. Best spell Firestorm acquired. And how convenient. Just enough souls to get to three attunement slots to use it. I'm gonna backtrack to Latria for the Ring of Magical Sharpness. I will become the glassiest cannon you've ever seen. Slurping out the Silver Demon Soul and I'm stocking up on Old Spice from the Once Royal Mistress since I'm here. With Firestorm available, Shrine of Storm seems like a good choice. Let's just open up this door. Reaper defeated and door 2 unlocked. Patch is literally saying, top treasure ahead. Black Phantom Soul Raid to death. Hey, hey you quit dodging that. Saint Urbane rescued. God, disgusting. Patch is the hyena looks so gross and pudge-like in this version. I changed my mind about Shrine of Storms. I feel the need to get as powerful as possible. I will choose to invade in Tower of Latria. Oh yeah, it's happening. Get firestormed, and get firestormed again. And then I got one shot. <laughs> Dude, nice. Eight vitality, by the way. You are being summoned. I am become the boss. This is my favorite old school trolling strategy. I'm literally gonna sit next to the fog wall and firestorm this guy as soon as he enters. Dare you enter my magical realm? <laughs> Can't catch me. I will continue to slam, and I will continue to jam. Uh, spice, actually. If you get hit with firestorm, well, that's your own fault. Hey, I won! And I got the monk's head wrapping. Hell yes. Tornado Turban achieved. Magical power is maximum. Let's keep this going. I'm having a good time. I will simply run in like Sonic to Firestorm and then die immediately. Yep. Sounds right. But this is what I really want. I'm the boss. This time, I'll pretend to be AFK. Haha, <laughs> pranked. He tried to Firestorm me, but I'm way quicker on the draw. Haha, <laughs> double pranked. Get out, wizarded son. Yeah, so this very quickly devolves from a challenge run into trolling in PvP. <laughs> but I can't complain about that. Oh, lag stabbed? A classic PvP experience. This glass cannon build is literally win or die in the first engagement. Oh no, he's got the dragon longsword! <laughs> Heal as much as you like, I've already won. Alright, that's enough for now. Let's go ahead and get back to it. Shrine of Storms is easily gone through by just running around, slamming Firestorm at every enemy, and then spicing up to full again afterwards. These lasers are legitimately a bit of a problem. I'll have to be more carefuler around them. If I had even a little more survivability, this would be a complete joke of a run, but 8 vitality is making it quite difficult. Uh, I'll come back here later. Let's go ahead and try to finish out Latria now. First tower climbed and chain 1 dropped after like 2 firestorms to clear them all out. Down to the swamp, and then it's just straight up and around firestorming every single thing in my way. I was afraid of that. There's no way I survive this. Oh, I just barely do? Very cool. And I can one-shot him with Firestorm. I mean, I do have like 50 magic and a bunch of magic boosting gear, so it shouldn't be that surprising. Straight past the bridge to the second tower. Firestorm slammed. Let me on that stupid elevator. Second chain dropped after like three Firestorms. It's back up the central staircase now, slamming a Firestorm straight into that Mind Flare. Alright, man-eaters, what do you got? Oof, almost one shot on that first one. And almost a one-shot on me. One down and damn, man. Almost a one-shot on that second man-eater, too. One more Firestorm and it's finally over. Easy game, easy life. I've got Firestorm and Flame Toss to tune, so let's go do Old Monk. I'm actually playing online for once, so this will actually be a PvP battle, as FromSoft originally intended. Let's do this. Whoa, 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 take it easy there, buddy. That's one Firestorm and he's already on the back foot. Ha, <laughs> you played yourself, you goof. You're supposed to smash the chair so you don't get caught up on them. 
Two Firestorms down and I'm a winner. That's finally enough intelligence for two castings of Firestorm. The spice struggle is real though. Back to once royal mistress for more. Two Archstones down. Let's push my luck to finish one more before the night ends. Off to the King's Tower in Boletaria Palace. I want this noted that this looks a lot like Drakengard's second level. I should really make time for Drakengard. Maybe next year. Anyways, Firestorm trashes these black phantoms, to no one's surprise. But that guy with the tower shield is a legitimate problem. He, he's just gonna walk forward and poke me to death with Scraping Spear. Oh right, I can just Firestorm him to death. The greatest spell of all time. This is tight quarters, but that just makes Firestorm even better. Ow. Firestorm! Ow! These arrows are really chunking me. Blue Dragon has arrived, but I will simply run past him this time. PS5 exclusive shortcut unlocked. It's a pretty mediocre shortcut, honestly. Bjor's gonna run it down. Good luck, guy. Black Phantom of Strava, you can just get exploded off the edge. I got bigger fish to fry. And that bigger fish is False King Alant. Do you think I can win with just Firestorm? Well, that definitely did some damage, but not nearly enough. Second Firestorm and I got destroyed. I think there's something to this strategy, though. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh yeah, that's way better. Almost one-shotted him. But she ain't gonna soul suck me. Anyone who says Demon Souls is hard is just wrong. Grind up to 50 magic, 30 int, and you're golden. Quite literally almost one-shotting the hardest boss in the game. All you'd really need to add to this build is, I don't know, like 40 vitality? It's time for even more intelligence and magic power. Two archstones left, but I'm gonna call it a night. I'm a bit tuckered out from all of that pvp in. All that's left is Shrine of Storms and Valley of Defilement. Valley of Defilement is always traditionally last, so let's blast our way through the ritual path. Off to a great start there, Wes. But no deaths so far. Let's just continue the perfected strategy. Sprint up and slam a firestorm. Well, this guy was a problem. Let's use the wrinkles in our brain. I can actually survive an attack in body form, so let's try doing that. And I was too slow and they respawned. Lasered in the back and killed. Back to soul form now, so I can't tank a hit anymore. Ah, oh, look at that, when it rains it pours. I will simply spam the roll, a classic Souls maneuver. Now I will slam the Firestorm. Once I get to the Brightstone pools at the bottom, I'm home free. But uh, not this time. Finally, I got that last Reaper with Firestorm. 20 minutes later. That level is surprisingly hard when you have 8 vitality. Weaving through the Brightwater pools up to Old Hero. Old Hero is probably going to one-shot me anyways, so I'm just going to go full damage with the Thief Ring. I will walk forward and not one-shot Old Hero with Firestorm. And oh, poor guy, he has no idea where I am. One final cast to barbecue the blind. 60 magic obtained. <laughs> Absolutely ludicrous. I'm going to stay in body for Storm King. I know I'm going to need the health here. Soul Ray one-shotting Sky Mantis, and the Thief Ring is definitely pulling its weight here. The Storm Ruler is epic, but I need to honor the spirit of the challenge and use only magic. Oh, oh no, he's coming down. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta find a rock or something to hide behind. And I'm dead. Wait, I actually survived. Time to spam Soul Ray and kill Storm King in one pass. Damn, magic really is disgustingly OP in all of these games. I was just kidding about the Storm Ruler, by the way. I'm snatching it up. I got some grand plans. I have one final archstone to get through, but there's always time for a little bit of trolling. If you think I'm not going to use the Storm Ruler to throw people off the ledges in Latria, you really haven't been paying attention to the literature. <laughs> Absolutely worth the stamp. Oh, I get to be the old monk again. Oh no, he cast an anti-magic field. It's over, bros. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Alright, that's a freebie. I will pretend to be AFK yet again. You dare to enter a wizard battle? With me? Oh, oh no, he's got Firestorm too. I was tricked. I'm not even mad, this is actually hilarious. <laughs> I can smack him through the wall. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Synchronized Firestorm? I'm gonna win that every single time. Okay, that's enough of that for now. Let's actually work on the last Archstone. Might want to watch my step next time. Might want to watch my step next, next time. Sniper scope! Big bridge! Flame tossing these losers is hard work, but somebody's gotta do it. Rat status Firestormed, uh, twice. Good old whiff and Firestorm. I will snipe this giant deprived one. Oh, oh god, he's coming. This level's actually very scary at 8 vitality. I'm just dead if I get hit one time. Couple of firestorms later and I'm finally at the boss. Yep, at this low vitality, Leechmonger is actually dangerous. But I will simply run in and cast Firestorm. 
Uh, whoops. I guess I'll just trade deaths here. Huh, look at that. The demon was destroyed. Even when I lose, I still win. 5-2. Annoying every single time. Especially because my HP is so low this time around. But I'll just keep spamming grass until I get to the end. <laughs> oh, Firestorm barely went off in time on these deprived ones. And Soul Ray is actually proving valuable here. What- what is this? Is this an endless stream of enemies out of the poop waterfall? This is ridiculous. That has to be some kind of weird spawn trigger happening. I think the right call is to slow play this. Just slow and steady, soul ring everything to death. Definitely at the scariest part now though. I think I need to use the bow to aim so I can snipe them with spells to get them to come one at a time. And that firestorm barely went off in time. The second was easier, and that shaman's dead. I may have lied. This part is also really nerve wracking with 8 vitality. There are so many enemies in this village. Take a couple of steps, firestorm, then spice. Wash, rinse, repeat. This is actually a little ridiculous with how cautious I have to be in the village. I'm genuinely considering getting the shortcut this time because of how long this has taken. But I will simply choose not to. I will continue to roast these deprived ones though. Time to roll the dice on Dirty Colossus. What's the worst that could happen? Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. And I win with one firestorm, of course. The game's in the bag. Congratulations, Wesley. Last boost, it's time for Garl Vinland to suffer. I'll try out Fire Spray to see if it's any good. Uh, that actually kind of sucks. Back to the classics. You know that they never go out of style. Oh man, he's afraid. We got a runner. Yeah, take that. Garl Vinland should have stayed home and ate the Lutefisk instead. Oh my god, Plague is draining my health fast. Can I even make it? Yeah, yeah, hurry up and die. Just get out of here, lady. That's the game basically done. Man, are you sure your title shouldn't be Spin Doctor Freak instead of Sage Freak? One final spice run to Latria, and I have a bit more time for some PvP. And by PvP, I mean trolling. Acid Cloud learned and on the bar. I will simply cast Acid Cloud over and over and over again. <laughs> oh no, oh no! <laughs> Pranked. Get Acid Clouded again. That's a cute bow. Double Firestormed to death. <laughs> He's sitting here expecting me to run into his Firestorm, but I will simply choose Acid Cloud. His mistake was thinking I'm here to kill him and not destroy all of his weapons and armor. Do what you must, I've already won. Oh? Come as close as you'd like. Acid Cloud status, used. Good old Monk bonus health. I managed to survive. And one-shotted with Firestorm. <laughs> it's so fun being a huge dick in Demon Souls, let me tell ya. Let's go. Oh, well, there's anti-magic field. It's over, boys. <laughs> I will simply use the Storm Ruler over and over again. I'm gonna run the clock out on Anti-Magic Field. Ha! <laughs> Managed to get an Acid Cloud off before he recasted it. Welcome to Bonk City. I will cast Acid Cloud again. <laughs> I actually have no way to win here as long as Anti-Magic Field is up. But what he doesn't realize is I don't care about winning. Oh, look at that big boy! He got the parry and he finally won. That was like 15 minutes of trolling. Oh, look at that. I think I've beaten this guy once before. I will continue to use Acid Cloud. Damn, Wrath of the Gods. Been a while since I've seen that one. <laughs> they had to switch. His Moonlight Greatsword was obviously broken by Acid Cloud. Ooh, a Blessed Mace. Alright, well earned there, guy. Listen, Faith Builds are my favorite in Demon Souls, not gonna lie. Well, this guy's standing in a rather bad spot. That is very Acid Cloudable. The Storm Ruler dominates Latria. The Old King Doran. Dare you enter my magical realm? Get acid clouded. Then I'm just gonna give him the old <laughs> into Firestorm. All right, this is gonna be the last one, I promise. Bonk directly into acid cloud. <laughs> Obviously I did enough damage to break his main weapon. Firestorm status connected. Kia! Oops, you goofed it. All right, that was pretty fun, but honestly that may be the last time I ever PVP in Demon Souls. GG no re and all that. Oh, my wife wants to hold my hand? Oh my god. Take this, King Alant. I'm gonna spank you around for causing all of this nonsense. <laughs> King Alant spanked to death. <laughs> Absolutely worth the stamp. Can, can we just stay here forever? Just the two of us? No? Fine, I didn't love you anyways. Let's go ahead and break this down. Demon Souls Magic Only was completed in 10 hours, 1 minute, and 13 seconds over a very casual 3 play sessions in 3 days. Max did definitely give me a fairly easy challenge. He's a good friend, giving me a fun challenge in one of my favorite games. 
The obvious elephant in the room is that magic builds are just very, very good. When you go full glass cannon, it does take a little while for it to come online, but once it does, your destructive power is so high that most bosses just don't stand a chance. But, base level vitality definitely made this a lot harder to get through. Getting one-shotted in places like the Ritual Path made this surprisingly challenging to get through some of the levels. It also turned a lot of boss encounters into rolling the dice. If I can hit them before they hit me, I win. If not, I'm running all the way back. Fortunately, I was lucky. Trading deaths with Leechmonger, for instance, it worked out in my favor. But how could I forget Dragon God? I literally felt forced to lose the challenge by using a weapon. I spent a very long time, probably at least 10% of this whole challenge run, just doing attempts on Dragon God. Would not recommend magic only for Dragon God. And it's all because of one set of awkwardly placed pillars right at the end of the boss fight. Yuck. The Dragon God fight isn't good even during regular gameplay, but this was just ridiculous. So, would I recommend the magic only challenge? Well, without the extra restrictions of base level vitality, this one's a freebie. Magic is the go-to strategy if you're looking to easily platinum either version of Demon Souls. If you happen to also level up Vitality, even to like 15 from 8, you're going to have a way easier time getting through the game. I'm sure that doing Magic only for the rest of the Souls games will have their own sets of unique challenges though. Honestly, because your HP is so low with base Vitality, the shield really was an MVP here. Using the Buckler helped a surprising amount, honestly. Even though you take chip damage through it, being able to block an attack proved insanely useful. I'll do my best to not use shields moving forward in these challenges though, unless it's a very explicit shield only challenge of course. Maybe I'll do another attempt at magic only without a shield in the original, superior version of Demon Souls, at some point. Uh, a not insignificant part of the playtime of this challenge was PvP too. Honestly, I actually don't like the PvP in these Souls games. I think it's genuinely pretty poorly balanced and full of people trying way too hard. But when you go in with a goofy mentality to waste 10 minutes of someone's time by whacking them off with the Storm Ruler over and over again, it's way more fun and enjoyable. I was guffawing like Heidegger from Final Fantasy VII. I had a good time ripping acid clouds and rocking the Storm Ruler, but I do genuinely think that this is the last time I PvP in any of these games. My PlayStation Plus has expired and there's no way I'm ever going to buy it again. And I'm just not interested in PvP in the rest of the games. So there you go. That little bit of Demon Souls PvP trolling is a good way to send it off though. I genuinely think the series is best played in single player. It just feels like the correct way to play. As for what's next on Backlog Buster, well, it's actually a little bit of algorithm chasing. There's a remake coming out next week for a pretty fun and nostalgic game. So it'll be on the original release. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching Backlog Buster. My Patreon supporters get a super exclusive double thank you. Thank you to all of the Patreon supporters of Backlog Buster. You're greatly helping me continue to make videos and not get made destitute by Adobe. Somebody has to pay the multi-million dollar corporation. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to the channel so you never miss another one. If you want to continue to support the channel, you can check out the Patreon. You can also check out the various playlists for more content. There's one for Classic Backlog Buster, one for Backlog Buster Challenger for gaming challenge videos, and Backlog Buster Platinum Hits for going for 100% completion and platinum trophies. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.